Ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. Past 10,000 subscribers, which is pretty sweet. So thank you all for following along, watching this build and everything else that I got going on. Some people, that may seem like a lot of people, and to others that may just seem like rookie numbers. Um, overall, I'm thankful for everyone that has followed along. It takes 20, 30 minutes out of their week to go through and watch a video, and those that are genuinely invested or interested, um, takes time to leave a comment. That stuff is pretty, pretty cool to see that we've built, I guess, a very small uh, community around this here. There's not much here, but uh, appreciate everyone that has either, you know, supported or followed along. Hopefully one day we'll be able to add one more zero behind that 10,000 number. But for now, it's pretty cool to be able to see a letter behind the number on the subscriber count there. All in all, we're gonna keep rolling along on this here. Keep cranking out some videos. Got a lot of work to do on that tail panel, so we're gonna hopefully wrap it up in this video here. But I just wanted to start this video off by saying thank you, because that's a pretty sweet milestone. Um, and hopefully the first of many. Picking up this video pretty much where I left off in the last one. I got everything welded up on this side. I got this little corner piece welded up the other night as well. And last night I went through, I ended up welding that tab back on just because like I said this one was perfectly bent right I couldn't get my test piece as dialed as I wanted to because I had some previous bends in it so just weld that back up that'll be good there I'll probably do just one more pass over that seam uh, once I get everything welded up and fitted we'll blend that that'll be looking pretty good final prep to do to this then go through and get this welded and then once this is welded all the way around here this entire thing will be welded on and we can get to grinding all these welds down, start metal finishing it. I got a little bit of hammer and dolly work to do in some spots. I got to bend some other pieces back uh, just due to heat, but overall looking pretty solid. Put in a decent amount of work on this tail panel today. I got everything ground down and DA'd and it's pretty close to being completed. I got a couple high and low spots across the board I gotta go through and fix. So I tossed the tail panel back up on the car here just to go through and mark those out. Um, whether it be, you know, a little bit of weld built up on the corner or it could be warped from heat distortion. Go through, figure that out after hammer and dolly a uh, couple areas and then get that totally dialed in. But other than that, it, uh, it's coming along pretty well here. You got the excess piece trimmed off the back as well. So now all the measurements are where I need them to be and that's looking pretty good. You probably saw, but I had to go through and re-weld up a couple little sections across the tail panel, um, whether it was you know a crater there or the fitment of the pieces wasn't totally perfect. 
like on the passenger side over there, the you know horizontal piece that comes to meet up the new tail panel, it overhung a little bit. So when I went and welded it, it pushed that line out from the rest of it. So I had to go through and fix that. Um, just small things like that, or like I had a little bit of undercut on one of the welds, so it left a little crater. I had to go through and fill that as well. Stuff like that, that can be avoided in the future. So it saves me time, and that way if I could just get it completely dialed the first try, I'd be pretty happy. So some things to work forward to, but other than that, it's coming along pretty well here. Just all this stuff, like I said, takes a lot of time, especially when you gotta go through, measure, do something, check with the template, go through, and repeat that process a million times until you get to a point like this. And even at this point, like you guys saw, it's still not 100% of the way there. Here's a quick outside view before I go ahead and close it up for the night. But seeing that with the quarters on now and just toss the deck lid on, kind of wiped everything down and cleaned up just so I can get a good look at that. Looks pretty sweet. So vision is uh, starting to come to life, but until tomorrow where I go through and uh, spend a lot of time getting those final details dialed in. But that is what makes the difference on these builds, all the little details, and uh, I'll continue to dial them in and get them knocked out. The next part of this tail panel project will be actually the inside of it. As you can see, I kind of got a interior panel mocked up here. This will close off this area. That way it's just not exposed. I think it'll be a nice piece. It'll look pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put some dimples in it as well. That way it can match that piece right there. In order to start working on this piece and get it measured out though, I need to get the trunk gutters set in place. That way I can kind of measure from the bottom side of the trunk gutter to the bottom side of this lip, figure out how I'm gonna blend this corner in, everything like that. You can see it's pretty flat right here and it's got this interesting angle on it. Um, but I do know this side does fit pretty good because I've had it on there before. This side over here, I was like, why won't this trunk gutter here line up whatsoever? And there's actually this little lip on the end. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's only maybe an eighth inch lip that is sticking off the side right there. That is completely throwing this trunk gutter off, unfortunately. So I'm gonna go through, trim that down, and that should allow me to get this gutter piece mocked up on there all clamped together just like i was able to on that side there After a good bit of work with the hammer and dolly, the tail panel is completely done. Jump back into that in a second. 
I got the trunk gutters all set in place now. They're all Clecoed in the spot I need them to be. We'll get into that more in, in the next video here. I'm gonna start on these this weekend. It's gonna be a process uh, fitment wise. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I just want to improve on basically what the factory has done. And that's something else that I wanna make clear is these AMD panels here, the reproduction panels, they're based off the factory, right? So I'm just going through and want to redesign some of the things that the factory did based off of appearances is mainly why I'm doing it. So in order to make this all kind of look like one piece in the trunk area, I got a couple ideas that I'll be uh, doing. So it'll be a lot of work just for a trunk gutter, um, but I think it will be something that is worthwhile, especially what I want to do with this car. Once I get the trunk gutters, you know, exactly where I need them to be, could go through, get them trimmed up. I can go through and make the final template for this back piece here, get rocking and rolling on that. So the tail panel itself will have to come off at least one more time in order to put some brackets on the back here to weld those on. But other than that, this thing is in place for the final time now. I'm gonna throw up some clips of just some super basic rough drafts I've been doing on taillight designs. As you guys can see, I got multiple different options, um, ones with backup lights, ones without backup lights, one of just a tail light itself, one of multiple pieces of a tail light. So I got a lot of options, like I said. Um, we'll kind of see what I end up deciding to do. Of course, I'll show you guys the process of making the actual tail light for that. That'll be a little bit down the road. Um, obviously this car has a long ways to go metalwork wise, but something just to keep in the back of my mind as I'm working on all this. To end off the video here, I couldn't just leave you guys with some simple drawings like I showed you. I had to mock up just in a little LED light strip. This is not what the final tail light is going to be. Uh, my plan is to probably uh, like 3D scan the panel and then build a mold off of the panel itself for the tail light and then make it out of like an acrylic or resin something like that put the light behind it maybe even paint the lens that way it's tinted um, the shade of red that i like and when the light is behind it it'll be blended uh smooth and you won't see a bunch of like the little leds kind of like you can on this little strip this is just like a 20 dollars light strip i picked up at walmart just to get it on here to get an idea and show you guys kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, probably gonna do a halo all around the outside like that. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the last video is it'll probably be a bar that's, I don't know, maybe three quarters to an inch tall. We'll just kind of have to see what it ends up being once it's all set and done. And it'll be the complete span of this flat piece going across here. So it'll be that complete span that goes right there, the complete span that goes up there. It'll be a complex piece, but I think it'll really look good once it's all set and done. I saw in my little drawings I drew up on the phone that I got a couple different ideas. So we'll see what I end up deciding, but this was my original idea. And I definitely do think it will uh, look the coolest. It'll have some depth to it. Not totally like an infinity light, um, but it'll kind of give that feel. And with the back being open, you can see a suspension through here. The fuel cell will be on the back side of it. You'll be able to see the uh, cage and the chassis the tubs, the tin work. So I think it'll come along uh, pretty good once it's all set and done, but I just want to mock that up real quick here to end this video off and give you guys a good look at uh, what I'm kind of thinking inside my head there.